Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on a 2012 Dodge Ram. Uh, we're changing the wiper linkage or transmission. And the reason we're doing that is when I go to turn my wipers on, it's really slow. And I can see the, the wiper arms are, are binding. So what I suspect is going on is the linkage in here has corroded from you know many miles and now you know I don't want to burn the motor out so I am going to be changing the linkage here today. Uh, a, few, a few tools we'll need a flat screwdriver for some for some push clips a pair of side cutters if you want to for push clips as well uh, perhaps a wiper arm puller to make your life easier if they're seized um, 10 millimeter socket and I believe a 15 millimeter socket. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna start off by removing the wiper arms. You do that by removing these little caps here and that exposes a 15 millimeter nut right here. Now, if you have a cordless impact gun or just a ratchet, whatever works, or even a wrench, that side. Now you guys should be starting in the resting position if you can. Uh, this video will also help you achieve access to your wiper motor if that's what you're here to do. So once you take off those nuts, you want to see if you can get these wiper arms off. They're likely going to be seized. That's where the puller comes into play. If you don't have one, you can do it with a couple of pry bars. Um, and obviously some gentle touches, but in the meantime, I'm gonna use my puller because I have one. And I'm gonna use this to remove the wiper arms. So once you get those arms off, you have these two little nubs. Sticking out of your top of your cowling here, this trim piece. What you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the push clips at the base and then remove that. Forgot to mention there is an electrical connector here with a harness attached to it. Just pull out that push clip along with these guys here. And you want to see if you can get your washer jet hose out of the way as well. Okay, now we're ready to come off. So up and towards the front of the vehicle is how this comes off here. The clips can be a little bit stubborn, so don't be afraid to give it a nice little tug. And that's out of your way. Now, your linkage is here, in front of you, and in order to get that off, it looks like you got two 10 millimeter bolts and one electrical connector right here. Go ahead and take off the electrical connector, get your 10 millimeter socket, take that off there. off there and now she is ready to slide to lift on the right side and then slide it over to the right I'll show you why in a second here it's got a little groove the notch that slides right into this hole right there okay it's important to note which way this comes off um, I'm removing my motor and transferring it onto the new linkage. Um, I'll show you guys how to install it, obviously, and there is a proper procedure on finding, you know, the arms resting positions. Um, but with regards to, you know, the new versus the old setup, just do a visual, take a mental note on where the positioning of your motor arm is, 
versus these levers. And this way, when you remove this, these three Torx bolts, which we're about to do in a second, and get access to this, I believe, 13 millimeter nut, that we can transfer it over and make it easier for us for later. So the next step here, like I said, is remove this nut, the 13 millimeter. You'll have to rotate the linkage up a bit. Well, I gotta get a screwdriver. Don't mind my steel toe flip flops. Pop that up, it's splined, that's why it kind of comes off as it, as it does there. And you can see this, this pivot right here is the one that's seized. Everything else moves, no problem. This moves freely, this rotates. But this one, this is not moving, it's binding. And if you try to push past it, you will end up straining and burning out your motor. Now you have to remove the three torque bolts that hold the motor to the linkage. And then now your motor's out of the way. Get this guy out of the way. Position this in front of you like your old linkage was. And in reverse order. Bolt the motor back up. And doing it by hand but just for the purpose of this demonstration I'm not gonna bother position your new linkage back on your motor now try to line that arm up close to where it came off when you took it off your motor which I believe was actually on that side for me put your nut back on and tighten that up real good now we're ready to go back in the vehicle. Okay guys, the next part is very important. Um, this is how I kind of judge the positioning of the linkage for the wipers to be in their proper resting position. How I do that is after I've tightened the nut, I rotate the motor back to its square position so it's underneath the straight line of the linkage. Then I plug the, our connector back in here and I get someone inside the vehicle to operate the wipers. Okay guys, so this first install, I did it so that you guys could see what it should look like done incorrect. So as you see here, as it's rotating, watch your hands by the way. But as you see here, the wiper starts by going down, up, down and back up a little bit. That's wrong. You don't want to be doing that. You want to start off with your motor and linkage in line. So that way your wipers begin by going upwards first. Okay, the right way to line this up is to let your wiper motor cycle once and shut it off. Now you know that's the resting position of your wiper motor. So then you come with your linkage and put it exactly so it's on straight, perfectly straight line with the motor and the linkage mechanism. You can feel the splines on the motor. Unfortunately, you cannot tighten that up with anything other than a wrench. So once you get that on and you know you're on the right spline, you're going to go ahead Tighten it up with a wrench. The linkage might move on you by hand, but that's okay because the home position is the home position for the wiper motor. Now, we know for sure that the wipers are going to be exactly where they need to be. You want to look at your stud here and just make sure that it'll only go up and back down when your wiper's on it. And that's the perfect position right there. 
Okay guys, now it's time to put this one back on here. I want you to take note on these plastic hooks. They're supposed to go underneath your windshield. It goes in like so. In under the windshield first, then down. You're gonna be careful of your washer hose, your washer spray hose, and the harness on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Okay guys, now it's time to put the wipers back on. Take note the way they came off because they are left and right, I do believe. At least they are on most vehicles. You're gonna to wanna to situate the wiper in its resting position and feel the splines catch on the stud. Start your nut. Tighten it down. That one's done. Pull it here. Same thing. Put it in its resting position where you're happy with your wiper staying. Again, start your nut. Tighten her down. And that's it guys. You just put the finishing touches on it. Put these caps back on on both sides. Put this cap back on here. Now we have wipers. All right guys, well that pretty much wraps up the install video here. 2012 Dodge Ram, 1500. I I'm sure the same is gonna apply on a 2500 or a 3500. Don't quote me on that, but it's probably gonna be the same. Uh, different years as well, likely is gonna be the same. So. If it's not the exact same, you can use this video to figure it out regardless. But I hope you learned something here and don't forget to like and subscribe. Tune in next time.